Hey there, ever watched Elmer Gantry? If not, you're in for a treat. This 1960 film packs a punch with its mix of funny, shocking, and sad moments. It's a roller coaster of emotions that'll keep you glued to the screen. Have you ever wondered when you first laid eyes on this classic? Or maybe you have a favorite character amidst the myriad of roles. Drop your thoughts in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Now back to the movie. Elmer Gantry follows the journey of a charismatic and slick-talking salesman who finds himself entangled in the world of evangelical preaching. Played brilliantly by Burt Lancaster, he navigates through moral dilemmas, personal ambitions, and the complexities of faith. Alongside him, Gene Simmons delivers a powerful performance as Sister Sharon Falconer, adding depth to the narrative. This film isn't just about religious fervor. It's a commentary on human nature, ambition, and the pursuit of redemption. As the plot unfolds, you'll find yourself laughing, gasping, and maybe shedding a tear or two. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. And don't forget to share your cherished memories or personal experiences related to this gem of a movie in the comments below. We're all ears. Elmer Gantry, a film released in the 1960s, portrays the story of a charismatic con man who transitions from sales to preaching, teaming up with an attractive evangelist. Their partnership thrives initially, but his personal vices, including alcohol and infidelity, lead to complications. Despite being a condensed adaptation of the Sinclair Lewis novel, the movie's length feels excessive. However, the standout performances, particularly by Burt Lancaster in the titular role, elevate the viewing experience. Lancaster's portrayal earned him numerous accolades, including Best Actor awards from various esteemed groups. Gene Simmons delivers a compelling performance as the virtuous evangelist, while Shirley Jones impresses as a conflicted prostitute. Arthur Kennedy rounds out the cast with his portrayal of a cynical atheist reporter. Despite the abundance of awards, the film's substance may leave something to be desired. Overall, Elmer Gantry offers engaging performances, but falls short in narrative depth. The 1960 film Elmer Gantry marked the debut of singer-actress Patti Page. In one scene, Sister Sharon is briefly seen outside a movie theater, advertising a film starring Rudolph Valentino and Agnes Ayres likely referencing The Shake. Director Richard Brooks initially considered James Cagney or Montgomery Clift for the lead role, wanting either of them to portray the character's depth and charisma. The story revolves around a charismatic, fast-talking con man who becomes a successful traveling preacher. He captivates audiences with fiery sermons and manipulative charm. Along the way, he encounters Sister Sharon, a sincere evangelist, and becomes entangled in a web of ambition, greed, and lust. Their relationship drives the narrative, exploring themes of faith, hypocrisy, and redemption. The lead actor portrays Elmer Gantry's blend of charm and manipulation with depth and nuance. The film delves into the darker aspects of religious fervor and the exploitation of faith for personal gain, painting a vivid picture of American religious practices in the early 20th century with fervent revival meetings and charismatic preachers. Despite its release over six decades ago, the themes explored in the movie remain relevant today, resonating with audiences grappling with questions of faith, morality, and belief. The exploration of hypocrisy and the corruptibility of charismatic leaders continues to provoke thought and discussion. In conclusion, Elmer Gantry is a compelling drama offering a thought-provoking look at faith, ambition, and the human condition. Its relevance and powerful performances ensure its place in cinematic history. Burt Lancaster wanted to criticize Billy Graham through the movie. He aimed to show how some people use religion for their own gain. There was a musical version with Robert Shaw, but it didn't last long. The director, Richard Brooks, wasn't sure about Shirley Jones for a role, but he realized she was perfect for it. He let her do her thing in a tough scene, and it worked out well. The movie made people think about faith, right and wrong, and what it means to be human. Elmer Gantry's story made people question if religious leaders are really sincere. Overall, Elmer Gantry makes people think about big issues like religion, ambition, and what's right and wrong in society. It's a powerful story that gets people talking, even today. Elmer Gantry is a notable film listed by the American Film Institute in 1998. In the movie, Babbitt's disdain for a Catholic presidential candidate in the 1920s suggests Al Smith, but for viewers in 1960, it evoked thoughts of John F. Kennedy. George F. Babbitt, a character from Sinclair Lewis' novel, plays a role in bringing Sister Sharon's revival to Zenith. He also happens to be the landlord of a brothel, adding layers to the story. Elmer Gantry delves into themes of religion, politics, and morality, making it a significant piece of American cinema. 
Elmer Gantry, who didn't believe in God, played a dishonest preacher in the movie to criticize Billy Graham. He got the Best Actor Oscar for his performance. The book the movie is based on caused a lot of arguments, and no company wanted to pay for it at first. In the movie, there were 200 stunt actors and one in 200 extra people for the fire scenes. His acting in the role got him lots of praise. The movie shows how good he is at acting and how he's ready to take on hard roles. In the 1960 movie, there's a scene where a preacher gives a really hateful speech talking bad about different beliefs, including Russellism, linked to Jehovah's Witnesses. This actor appeared in three movies nominated for Best Picture at the Oscars Peyton Place, Elmer Gantry and Lawrence of Arabia, which won. Interestingly, William Holden really wanted the main role. The character's journey in the film is a fascinating look at faith, what's right and wrong, and the complicated side of people. It's a performance that's remembered in the history of movies. Elmer Gantry's role is a strong reminder of how conviction and ambition can be dangerous. Adapted from a successful novel, Elmer Gantry transitioned from page to stage in 1928 with a brief run in New York City. Edward Pauley took on the titular role while Vera Allen portrayed Sharon Falconer during the play's 48 performances. Director Richard Brooks collaborated closely with star Burt Lancaster, dedicating seven months to craft the screenplay. This meticulous preparation laid the foundation for the 1960 film adaptation, ensuring a faithful and well-crafted narrative. In the casting process, Burt Lancaster secured the co-starring role over Piper Laurie, solidifying the film's ensemble. The movie, devoid of unnecessary embellishments, delves into the story without unnecessary distractions. In summary, Elmer Gantry's journey from novel to play and eventually to the 1960 film was marked by careful adaptation and collaboration between key figures. The concise and focused storytelling, both on stage and screen, allowed the narrative to shine without unnecessary adornments. Released in 1960, the movie Elmer Gantry featured actors Edward Andrews and Max Showalter, who later played Molly Ringwald's grandfathers in Sixteen Candles. Initially, Christopher Plummer and Susan Hayward were thought about for the main roles, showing the variety of actors considered for the film. Directed by Richard Brooks, the movie fascinated audiences with its interesting story and strong acting. It explored themes like faith, right and wrong, and finding redemption, making people think deeply about the story. Although other actors were considered, Andrews and Showalter's on-screen chemistry made the characters memorable. The film did really well, getting praised by critics and nominated for many awards. Its influence in cinema history is clear, showing how storytelling can have a big effect. Looking back on its importance, it's amazing to see the talent that brought Elmer Gantry to life on screen.